So I got the Vic Firth Heavy Hitter Large Quadruped. Uh, I got it last night. I ordered it on Cyber Monday um, for $124 and some change. Um, it actually got here in like three days, which was amazing. Well, four. So if I ordered, I ordered it on Monday night and got it Thursday night. So. Um, it's, uh, it's great there's actually two different sizes that you can buy this is the large one um, the small one's just a little bit smaller and the drums are smaller and uh, when you get it it only has these four drums on it those two aren't actually on there um, and you have to use this uh, like you pick which one, you, which setup you want, and then you peel the back off and stick it on. Um, but it's just for like if you want a single spock or a double spock, and then um, it'll tell you like there's two different forms where you can have it like really close here, so that you can do scrapes really easy. And then there's like one where there there's a larger gap, um, which I went to the closer one together. Um, so they're really nice. It's heavy duty. It's really strong. Um, the old one that I've seen uh, that a friend's got, they redesigned the logo here, I think. A little bit. Um, see right there it says large, and then the small one will say small. Um, it's really, really, really clean. <laughs> it's going to suck when these things get really dirty. Um, it's not too heavy. It's pretty hefty though. It's got some rubber on the bottom so it doesn't slide. Um, but what does suck is if you use quad mallets like these, you can't really play with it. Like, and it it makes this loud, ugly noise. So I mean, I mean you can you can play with them, but it's gonna take like a lot of wrist only. I guess you could use that and it's a little bit easier. Um, I guess I'll have to do it like another video with a higher quality camera to show you guys like just me playing around with it or whatever. It also comes with these um, free. They're like laminates. You can stick them on. They've got a different one for each drum. Uh, it's not actually that color. It's clear. But you put them on and it's... Uh, it gives it a different sound, but the main purpose of it is to get it uh, a different texture that's more, it's supposed to be more realistic to the actual drums. And um, with the rubber, it kind of gives you a little bit of pull resistance on a scrape uh, that you won't get on the drum. And the, the laminate, I guess, makes that easier. So it's, it's more like if you play it on the, the wood. You know, the way that feels, I guess, um, these create more of a feeling like that instead of the rubber that kind of pulls it back. I actually, I don't know if I want to put them on. I do and I don't. I do because I like the idea of the feeling that it gives, but then um, it's, it's, from most of the reviews that I've read, these make it louder when you play. Which I don't mind too much, really. It is it is pretty quiet. Like this, I had this here, this snare pad. It's, um, well, I don't know. It's something about the quad sticks also that I have. Because if you use like a snare stick, it's not as quiet as these. It's just a different tone, but... Um, it's definitely softer than that. But you can already hear, just even on this crappy mic, the different sound that it makes. Which, it's not going to make that sound, that's just because it's loose and there's like sticky backing. Um, but the thing, the only thing that I don't like is, I'm not sure if like, if you put this on, wrong one, if it'll come off easy, I don't know. But it sucks because if you look, it doesn't like cover up the whole edge 
so it's not going to cover the whole thing it'll be like a little lip on the edge which I don't know that's just the way it looks I mean that's not going to affect anything except for looks but But that actually, that'll keep it a lot cleaner too, though. So I'll see. I think I'll just try like one of them, see how I like it. And if I like it, then I'll put them all on. But it's really nice. I love it. But, <laughs> I mean, it's a big expense for something that doesn't seem like it's that much. Also, uh, I didn't say that, but the, the wood that this is made out of, I mean, it's just particle board, but, um, like, the finish on it is really strong. And, like, if you look at it um, in the right light, it's got, like, a texture to it. It's not smooth wood, but, like, you can hit this thing really hard and even do, like, a scrape and so stuff. Like that. And you can't even find a mark. You can't see anything of where it came from, so... I mean that'll that'll be gone in time. That's just over time it'll definitely wear it down, but it's really really uh clean. Especially just the rubber. I mean, you can't find a speck on these things. Like and see like you can't see it on here, but there's a hair right here. And I mean it just makes it like they're so clean, you can see like a little tiny eyelash hair from like all the way across the room because it's so clean. But yeah. So that's the uh, Vic Firth Heavy Hitter Large Quadrupad. I think it's great. I love it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention the handle that you carry it with. I mean... Uh, there's nothing wrong with it like the the one that I've known from a friend the one he had was just like this But in all the pictures like online when I ordered it, I was kind of upset because it looked like they redesigned it because if you look on all these See how it's got those like two circle holes. I thought the handle was like that and I was like Oh, that's gonna be awkward. It's got that dent right there in your hand while you're walking or whatever But it turned out to be like the old one. So I was happy about that that actually makes it really easy to carry. Um, also, what he did... Well, let me show you this first. The whole thing is great. The only thing that I was a little bit disappointed in, which isn't that big of a deal, all the pads that were already on there are perfectly straight. Perfectly. Except for this one. It's a little bit crooked. See, there's a big edge right here, which is normal. That's how all of them all are they all have an edge around them and this is about the same size but over here it runs towards the edge and it is right there on the edge so it's just a little bit crooked and that's just a machine manufacturer error so there's nothing I can do about that now it's not like a big deal I'm not gonna send it back or anything that's just stupid but yeah it's great I'm just saying like it's it's weird when you look if you look at it for a while to see you can see the edge here but not over here so this drum looks kind of crooked but it's a very tiny bit so actually I think I will I'm gonna put uh, one of these on try it out and then I might put the rest of them on play with it a little while and then I'll put a another video with a higher quality camera and just me playing around with it having fun so that's that.